Welcome back. Now today we're excited to discuss a groundbreaking initiative within the Namibian film industry known Associates Group has partnered with Tulinane Entertainment and Moonlighting Forbes Namibia to launch the Namibia Film Fund. This strategic collaboration aims to empower local filmmakers by providing essential financial support and resources fostering a vibrant film ecosystem that showcases Namibia's rich cultural narratives. Joining us uh, is Mpumezo Vuzani, Group Head of Investments at Known Associates Group, to share insight on how this fund will transform the landscape for Namibian filmmakers and elevate their stories on a global stage. Good evening and uh, welcome to the Daily Roundup, Mpumezo. Good evening, Mina. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Pumezo, please provide an overview of the Namibian Film Fund and its objectives in supporting uh, the Namibian film industry. Yeah, so the Namibian Film Fund um, is an exciting initiative that has stemmed from a collaboration that we've entered into between ourselves as the Non Associates Group and Tulinan Entertainment. And the basic aim of what we're trying to do is to be the financial anchor of the growing Namibian film industry. Um, and as you might know, in uh, some of the biggest hurdles to film production is the ability for filmmakers to raise the funds to support the, or, or to finance the budgets of their films. <clears throat> now, this fund is there to close that gap. Um, you know, the lack of financial instruments to support the film industry usually means that a lot of great stories that uh, seek to showcase and preserve um, our rich and diverse cultures never see to the, never see the light of day because um, there, are, there isn't uh, enough funding that is available for that. And mm -hmm. we want to close that gap in particular with the fund. And basically, we want to offer a variety of financial instruments from senior loans to bridging facilities and equity as well. Um, and it is to finance projects that are at various stages of the film value chain from development to production to post-production as well as distribution um, and we're also trying to get this to attract uh, international productions into Namibia <clears throat> and just to close off on this point we we're trying to do this fund because we we have a strong belief that uh, it has always taken uh, a throughout history throughout existence it has always taken investment institutions and investment professionals to capacitate the growth of industries and this is exactly what we are trying to do with this fund it is to capacitate the growth of the namibian film industry that's absolutely exciting tell us what types of projects and filmmakers will be eligible for the funding through the fund yeah, so we, we're looking to do projects across a wide range of um, types. Um, everything will be eligible across various genres as well as various stages of the project. Um, but what we want to bring now into the industry um, and across the board is the commercial substance of the project. Um, and again, in order for the film industry to grow, we want to have the filmmakers viewing themselves as entrepreneurs that are crafting a product that will be appealing to the market and to the investors so, so that um, the, the funding makes sense, so that the filmmakers do not just see themselves as creatives, but see themselves as active um, economic participants. Mm. And, you know, we'll be establishing a variety of different funding solutions and programs that will work um, for the wide range of funding needs that may exist. Can you share some examples for us of the international projects that Moonlighting Films has worked on and how they, their expertise will benefit the Namibian film industry? Yeah, <clears throat> so uh, Moonlighting Films, which is a 100% owned subsidiary of ours, um, it's one of the biggest production companies in the continent and very respected internationally, uh, having done a lot of leading productions such as you know, The Woman King with Viola Davis recently, uh, Mission Impossible 8 with Tom Cruise, Bloodshot with Vin Diesel, um, Queen of Cartier with Lupita. Um, and also to, to stress that uh, Moonlighting is no stranger to Namibia, we've done a number of productions like uh, Mad Max Ferry Road with Charlize Theron and Tom Hardy. We've done the Warner Brothers 10,000 BC. 
we did um, the Walt Disney Young Black Stallion as well as Beyond Borders with Angelina Jolie and you know, uh, Moonlighting having been uh, exposed to all these international productions and delivered them so successfully um, will benefit uh, this collaboration so much because um, <clears throat> we'll be able to come with the extensive expertise of understanding what it takes to bring productions of Hollywood standard mm. to Namibia. That's an impressive production resume you've just mentioned there. I also want to talk about the timeline, uh, you know, for the Namibian Film Fund to start providing um, financial support to the filmmakers. Yeah. So, look, generally, the uh, the timeline to, to raise a fund uh, all the way until it closes, until the first uh, project is, has been launched, is, is about 12 months. That's the timeline that we work with. We've already started a couple of months ago. I think we're about three or so months into this one. And we are hoping that by this time next year, we would have closed the first transaction at a minimum. Um, we are still at the development phases of the fund. Um, we've closed on the collaboration agreement with Tulinan, and this has also been endorsed by the Namibian Film Commission. Um, and we are in uh, engagements with the Namibian Ministry of Industrialization and Trade, as well as the Development Bank of Namibia. Um, so we are busy at those crucial stages of crafting the models that will help to uh, motivate for the impact of the fund and motivate for the way of working for the fund. Just uh, lastly, Pumezo, talk to us about the, the long-term goals and impact that you envision for the uh, fund to have in terms of empowering Namibian filmmakers and, of course, uh, showcasing Namibian stories on a global platform. Yeah, so I think our vision for this is the fund has to be a catalyst for the growth of the Namibian film industry. Um, and it needs to result in the growth of Namibia's attractiveness as an international shooting destination. Um, we want to see more filmmakers being capacitated to produce projects of international standard. Um, we tell you that the fund will be about 500 million Namibian dollars. Um, it sounds like a big number, but in the larger scheme of things, this is a, a fairly small amount, but it's a great start for the industry. And we hope that with the work that we will achieve with the fund, we'll be able to attract more investment, both locally and internationally. Fantastic. Well, we thank you so much for joining us uh, this evening here on the Daily Roundup and talking to us about this exciting uh, initiative. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Nina. Bye. That was uh, Mpume Zovuzane, who is the Group Head of Investments at Known Associates Group, speaking to us about the launch of the Namibian Film Fund. We'll be right back. <laughs>